Hi there, in this open source video, uh, again I'm in QGIS 3.2, which is BON. Um, I have a, uh, a demonstration here for you uh, that shows you how to calculate the number of points within a polygon. Because at the end of the day I actually want to shade these, this grid layer, which is just a randomly drawn grid over uh, in uh, Hungary and near Sheshkovar, I think that's uh, pronounced, I hope. Um, apologies if I've pronounced that wrong. So I'm in, in Hungary here, it's just random points and random uh, uh, grid that layer that I put on there. I actually used um, this random points tool uh, and then I used the create grid yeah, to do that from the toolbox. So it's all just generated data. So like I said, I want to colour these, I want to fill these uh, with a colour based on the number of points within the grid. So obviously quite a few of these will be zero. Uh, the most looks like around th sort of three points in that in that, that grid there. How do you do that? Well, I'm going to create a, uh, an, a, a I'm effectively going to join the, the, the count to the uh, polygon table, but I, I'm going to create a, uh, a new polygon table. Uh, just to show you this tool, uh, which is under the vector menu, analysis tools, and you can see count points in polygon. And that's the tool you want, as simple as that. I click that. So I'm going to, uh, the polygons is my grid, and uh, the, the points are these uh, random points that I created. You can see the, this sort of funny um, uh, icon here. Uh, there's no weighting I want to add or classification uh, not at this point, and I'll just leave it as a temporary layer uh, in memory. But as, as all, all these tools, you can always save to a geo package, post GIS, or save to file, etc. I'm happy just with, with a uh, temporary layer. It's pretty much instant. And and uh, what, what what's it done here? Well, it's added a new layer called count. Grid, the original grid is still underneath there. Uh, and you can see it's uh, created this whole uh, new polygon, but it's in in source using the current. Um, uh, it's in memory, sorry, using the current projection. Uh, what I'll do is just go to the info, click, and you can see now um, it's got uh, a num num points field in this. So when I click, there's uh, there's lots of uh, nulls. But then when I click on that one over there, th there was three. If we just uh, just bring these points to the top, that would help us in our clicking, wouldn't it? So that so so as expected, there are all these nulls. Uh, but then when we click in a um, uh, an area where there's um, uh, points, we get a uh, a count. And there's three there. So if we've got this uh, count field. We can use that to shade these grids instead of using a single color. Just cancel up a second. I'll go into the count, which is what it's called. Go to symbology. Uh, I, instead of a simple fill and a fill, what I'm going to do is categorize. Uh, I'm going to use num points. So that's my count of points that I've got there. I could have called it anything there. Uh, actually, the default name was num points, but I could have overridden that. Uh, I can, um, let's just classify, so it builds up all the um, values, well, there's a zero and indeed uh, one for null, but there's uh, it's either got zero or, or one, two and three, that's all we're interested really. Uh, I'll choose, let's go for some reds I think, uh, so you can see there's a uh, dark red there for the three, which is the highest, uh, and in fact we can of course click on that. and. Uh, well, make it any any colour we like. Yeah, I can slightly make it a bit sort of browner. Um, so we've got the colours, the symbology, let's categorise. There's other options there. Feel free to have a play, but don't forget you can hit classify and plus and minus. You can add your own classifications. Press OK. So now we get. Let's turn off random points. You can see this uh, coloured grid. So this lighter colour here is all um, where there were no values, effectively null, 
and that dark color there as expected was was three so in in here you can see there's two so I click um, on that count uh, and I get sure enough I get that two which is used for thematics so if I uh, I can of course just go back to that um, symbology go to layer rendering and just make it a bit see-through I think there you go a tad less so I alter the opacity there press OK we could have done it on a color by color basis but uh, yeah there we go so that the um, uh, primary build up of the points is there so that's how you can um, one way to shade polygons uh, using a value uh, generated by a counter points so the key thing there was under the vector analysis tools was count points in the polygon I've used simple uh, grid uh, uh, polygons but it could have been any any um, number of edges on those uh, any number of vertices on the on the, on the polygon and um, and then after I, I did that count in polygons it created this count layer and uh, and then you double click and set your categorization hit classify you can you can take away uh, uh, classifications and add them at will da, 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 um, and do what you like really so there you go thematics in QGIS I hope you find that useful. Thank you.